Okay, we've got a proof using algebra type question here, which doesn't look very nice, but actually it's not too bad. Um, K is this, and we've got to square it here. So we're going to rewrite n as this. Okay, 2 to the p minus 1 squared minus 1. Now, I'm going to multiply that out, and I'll show you where it all comes from. Uh, so we get this, 2 to the 2p there. Right, that's just basic rules of indices. Minus 2 to the p, minus 2 to the p, plus 1. So, I can now rewrite n as 2 to the 2p, minus 2 lots of 2 to the p, plus 1. And then don't forget this minus 1 on the end here. Alright, minus 1. Now, you'll notice that this bit cancels. Excellent. Alright, and so I can then do 2 to the 2p. Now this bit here, all right, actually simplifies to this 2 to the p plus 1 because that's in theory 2 to the 1, isn't it? Times 2 to the p. So rules of indices again. There we go. And that's quite handy because we know we're looking for that factor there. So let's factorise now. And we've got 2 to the p plus 1 and we know that that's going to have something minus 1. Okay, now what? 2 to the what times 2 to the p plus 1 makes 2 to the 2p, where it's 2 to the p minus 1. All right, because I can factorise out this here, which is what I've got up here, all right, that means it is a factor. All right, not a particularly nice one of these, okay, but actually not too difficult if you just follow it through. I mean, you can pick up marks anyway just by um, multiplying out that bracket for a start.